Scream Queen, My Nightmare on Elm Street, is about the effect the second in the series of Elm Street movies had on pop culture and on its young leading man, Mark Patton. It was the early 1980s and Patton had moved from Missouri to New York to pursue an acting career. He got roles in commercials and then featured in the stage play of Robert Altman's come back to the five and dime Jimmy Dean, Jimmy Dean, reprising his role in the film version. His career seemed to be going places. Moving to Los Angeles, he was then cast in A Nightmare on Elm Street Part Two, Freddy's Revenge. The film quickly became regarded as the gayest horror movie of all time, interpreted as either homoerotic or homophobic. You know, the mainstream public, they weren't ready for a male scream queen. They couldn't articulate it. This was totally written to be a gay movie. I think it's hard to watch it and not think that. Its writer, David Chaskin, denied having any intention of including that as a subtext. Not that it's a subtext, the intention is writ large. Also, the director, Jack Shoulder, says he was unaware of the underlying interpretation of the film. The timing for the release of the film in 1985 was not auspicious. AIDS was devastating the gay community and the general public was quick to demonise. I wake up in the middle of the first movie that I'm the lead actor in and realise that there's a gay subtext in it. I was a gay person and I was living in terror. In the 1980s, to be queer was to be this sort of diseased pariah. I think, in a way, Mark Patton paid the price for that. Mark was a closeted gay man, terrified of being outed in the press, especially when his living partner, Timothy Patrick Murphy, died of AIDS. He felt Freddie's revenge unfairly put his sexuality in the spotlight, developing resentment towards the film's writer. Mark's answer was to disappear to Mexico, where he himself became terribly ill with a cocktail of deadly diseases. And now to Mark Patton today, no longer the young pretty boy of the past, he's a fairly self-obsessed and embittered person about the abrupt ending of his acting career which he sheets home to Freddy's revenge. Discovering curious attention through the horror convention circuit, Mark travels around America signing autographs for fans and doing selfies with them, trading off a performance and film that still haunts him, though also using his newfound fame to become an activist for the gay community. Filmmakers Roman Cimienti and Tyler Jensen, making their feature debut, have been dogged in traipsing around the country after Patton, documenting his recent notoriety, organising interviews with many of the people involved in Freddy's revenge, including the director Jack Shoulder and writer David Chaskin, whom Patton had wanted to confront for decades, providing the journey with a final showdown of sorts. Their documentary is an exploration of gay history and the surprising impact that Freddie's revenge had, not just on Patton's career, but on the gay community generally. Three and a half stars. I wanted to be a movie star. This movie destroyed it. That's what made him go a little crazy. The movie was 30 years ago, and you're still pissed off at Dave Chaskin. You've been lying for 30 years about this. Yeah, I never wrote, you know, he screams like a woman. If you don't think that this is all interconnected, then you need to do your math again.